tell us, how did rehearsal go? I think the rehearsal was good, but we learn things every time we do it. Yeah, rehearsal is great. It, for me, it's a little bit like uh, thinking about going on Broadway. You know, it's a big deal. And uh, the rehearsal lets, at least me, get a feel for the room, the pacing, and candidate interaction, and follow-ups. And uh, you really can't rehearse that too many times. It doesn't, doesn't mean that everything that people will see when this debate is actually on is going to go exactly as we assume it will, but this gives us a chance to work the kinks out, at least it does for me. And one of our, our problems here, of course, is we have an infinite number of questions for the candidates, but we have a finite amount of time. So one of the things we're working through is figuring out how many questions can we get to. We want to make sure there's certain subjects we absolutely have to hit in the 90 minutes. We want to make sure that we've rehearsed it in such a way that we can get to all those subjects. You two seem to have a, a pretty good rapport and really feed off the end of each other's sentences here, which is important for debate hosts. Is this something that's built up over the last few weeks as you've begun working together more, or something that you fell into very naturally from the start? Well, I we fell into it fairly naturally, but I've known Major for many, many years. We've been in Washington for a long time together when I was the White House correspondent. Major is uh, just one of the very best political reporters in the country and I learn a great deal from him every time I have a chance to talk to him so uh, we have really fallen into this together it's it's you know frankly for guys like you and me what's more fun than this this is a lot of fun nothing is more fun and the, the essence of our rapport is that Scott and I understand this event is not about us this event is about the answers and what the American people learn this is not about us and both of us want the answers to be memorable, the news to be made, and this debate to stand out. And what we, our only role in doing that is obtaining the very best answers. Have you guys discussed how to handle any potential uh, media critiques coming from the stage tonight? Well, I don't worry about that too much. What, what's really important is to keep the candidates on track in terms of answering the questions, not going too much to their talking points, and, and not having a whole lot of debate among them. We can't lose control of this debate because we don't have time. 90 minutes is going to go by really quickly. We want to use that time so that the audience can really learn something about where they stand. We can't spend any time licking our own little wounds, all right? <laughs> Last question for you. Um, if, you uh, if you're not too superstitious, tell us a little bit about what your pre-debate routine is going to be this afternoon. Having never done one, I don't have a routine. And that makes two of us. Uh, I haven't done one either. Uh, but we have really been preparing for this. And, you know, the three keys to success at National Journal and CBS News are preparation, preparation, and preparation. And I will bet you that right up until the last second when the theme music comes on and we go on the air, Major and I are going to be looking at our questions and making little edits in them as we, as we refine them. The philosophical key for me is this is not an inward event. This is an outward event. Everything is determined by the quality of the answers. My only role is to elicit good answers, focus out, not in.